Hi everybody, Paul here again. In this video, I'm going to talk about the dangers of a bad engine coolant thermostat on your vehicle. So stay tuned. This is what a typical engine coolant thermostat looks like. This plays an incredibly important role in the engine cooling system, probably more than most people realize because it regulates the flow of coolant between the radiator and the engine to keep the engine operating at a safe temperature. The thermostat is basically a mechanical valve which has an incredibly simple design and requires no electricity to operate. The way it works is it has a special wax inside this cylinder. As the engine coolant temperature rises, the wax melts and expands and pushes on a rod that opens the thermostat. When the engine coolant temperature drops, the wax hardens and contracts and closes the thermostat. The springs also help close the thermostat. Directly on the thermostat will be shown the temperature that it begins to open. This one is 82 degrees Celsius, which is approximately 180 degrees Fahrenheit. The way the thermostat works is when the engine is cold, the thermostat stays closed and no coolant flows from the radiator to the engine. Depending on the specific engine, once the coolant in the engine reaches between 180 to 195 degrees Fahrenheit, the thermostat will begin to open and coolant will begin to flow from the radiator to the engine to keep the engine operating at a safe temperature. Depending on the specific engine, once the coolant in the engine reaches between 200 to 218 degrees Fahrenheit, the thermostat will be fully open. If a thermostat fails, it'll get stuck in the open or closed position. If the thermostat gets stuck in the open position, the engine will not reach the correct operating temperature. This can cause rough idle, increased fuel consumption, higher emission levels, and more wear on engine parts. Also be aware that fuel injection systems are extremely dependent on the correct engine temperature. This will also cause little or no heat to come out of the air vents to heat up the inside of the vehicle when it's cold outside. If the thermostat gets stuck in the closed position, this will eventually cause the engine to overheat. Engine overheating can cause engine misfire, causing uneven rotation and serious damage to internal parts of the engine. This could damage cylinders, pistons, head gaskets, cylinder heads, overhead cams, valves, and other things. This could require an engine overhaul or a complete engine replacement. Engine misfire will cause unburned fuel to be dumped into the exhaust system. This can damage oxygen sensors. This can also damage the catalytic converter by quickly raising the temperature of the catalytic converter, which can also cause the vehicle to catch on fire, which is why it requires immediate attention. If the temperature gauge on your dashboard ever starts climbing, this indicates your engine is overheating. The first thing you should do is turn off the air conditioner, open all the windows, and turn the heater and blower on maximum. This will help to lower the temperature of the engine. Next, get off the road where it's safe and when it's safe to do so. Turn off the engine and open the hood to help cool the engine, but do not remove the radiator cap, otherwise you'll be seriously burned. Engine misfire will also cause engine hesitation or lack of power during acceleration when the gas pedal is pushed down, which can also make the vehicle unsafe to drive. If you ever notice the engine temperature gauge fluctuating up and down or going too high and overheating, the most likely cause is low engine coolant. If the vehicle has enough engine coolant, then you more than likely have a faulty thermostat. The best way to avoid a faulty thermostat is to replace the thermostat whenever you replace the water pump. Always be sure to replace the thermostat with a genuine OEM for optimum performance. Purchasing a new thermostat is usually not that expensive. I just purchased this genuine Toyota thermostat on eBay for $20. A thermostat stuck in the open or closed position will usually cause a check engine light to turn on on the dashboard. 
I hope you found this helpful. And if you like this video, please hit the like button below, share it with your friends, and please be sure to subscribe. God bless you and have a great day. Bye for now. And when you guys are working on your cars, I'll be trying to set a new world record standing on my head. <laughs>